Want to grow taller naturally? Tired of hearing, eat this, take that supplement, or do this one magic exercise? Well, stop right now, because I'm exposing the only two ways to increase your height, backed by science, not scams. Stick with me till the end, and I'll break down exactly how your body grows, why most height hacks are nonsense, and what actually works to maximize your real height potential. Before starting, you're probably thinking, why should I trust you or this video? You're just another YouTuber. Fair question. But here's the deal. I'm not selling any pills, powders, diets, or sketchy routines. I'm just giving you straight up science, the real biology behind height growth. Don't take my word for it. Google it. Research it. Think for yourself. If you don't vibe with this video, no hard feelings, click away. But if you're ready to understand how your body actually grows taller, this video is for you. Let's break it down. The Science of Height Growth Height growth comes down to two biological processes. First, lengthening your bones. Second, activating your growth plates. Your brain's pituitary gland, which is situated in your brain, releases human growth hormone, or HGH, which tells your bones and tissues to grow. HGH directly targets your growth plates, those soft cartilage zones at the ends of your long bones, making them multiply and turn into bone, gradually lengthening your skeleton. It also triggers your liver to release IGF-1, which supercharges this whole process. But here's the catch. Once your growth plates harden into solid bone, usually by age 18, 21 for boys and 15, 18 for girls, you stop growing taller. That's the biology. But some study says you can still grow taller. So let's understand how to maximize height naturally. Now let's talk about what you can control. There are four powerful lifestyle factors that influence your height. Nutrition, sleep, exercise, and posture. One, nutrition, the fuel for growth. Your body can't grow without the right raw materials. Here's what it needs. Protein to build muscle, bones, and tissues. Calcium vitamin D to strengthen your bones. Zinc, magnesium, phosphorus, potassium, vitamin C for overall development. You can plan your own diet in your want, or you can add these things in your diet, which are sources of these nutrients. Leafy greens, vegetables like spinach, kale, broccoli, lean meats like chicken, mutton, fish, dairy products like milk, yogurt, cheese, avoid, junk food, sugary snacks, fried stuff, too much caffeine, carbonated sodas. They drain nutrients and mess up your hormone balance and metabolism. Two, sleep, the growth hormone factory. Sleep isn't just rest. It's when your body pumps out the most HGH. So follow these things for better sleep. Go to bed between 10 to 11 PM for this. Take eight to 10 hours of deep sleep, which help in maximum hormone release. Avoid screens one hour before bed because blue light kills melatonin. Stick to a consistent bedtime. Make your room cool, dark, and quiet. 3. Exercise or you can say, mechanical stress. That triggers growth and helps in remodeling them. Exercise creates mechanical stress on your bones. This signals your body to release more HGH. Here's the routine. 1. Dot. Meditate daily to calm your brain increase focus and better hormone secretion and reduce stress two dot perform surya namaskar which is powerful yoga for the spine posture which decompress your spine and helps to stretch your body in best possible way if you don't like this you can do stretching yoga or anything you like which helps to generate stretch force on bone stretch your bone correct your posture and decompress your spine but i bet nothing is better and easy as this. 3. Calisthenics, push-ups, pull-ups, squats. This is best to create tensional forces on your bones and make them stronger and strengthen them. 4. Some extra things that will help you to make your brain to send signals to your body to grow, because these tips will help you to push your body and brain to grow taller. 1. Dot. Try to touch a shelf 2-3 inches above your head. 2 play basketball, or perform massy jumps, which is based on Wolf's Law, 
which is a very effective method to grow your bones. If you want a dedicated video to watch, go check out the video on my YouTube channel. 3. Dot hang from a bar in intervals and high jump to reach high places or do things that literally force your body to extend. 4. Fix your posture because it makes you look instantly taller, provide you some extra centimeters of height, and posture improves confidence and spinal alignment. And finally, self-belief, which is the most powerful growth fuel. Because if you don't believe yourself, you can't do anything. And if you believe yourself, you can. And you will just like Rustam Akhmetov, an athlete who grew six inches at the of age 21, through nothing but discipline, habit, and belief. Now understand some deep and real knowledge. 60-80% of your height is genetic, and your hormones like HGH, testosterone, estrogen, are mostly preset. And in conditions like growth hormone deficiency or early closure of growth plates, you cannot grow taller. But if you are under around 21, or maybe your growth plates are open, then see this chart, which displays how your brain releases over tyke. It releases all the time, but it peaks at puberty, then slowly declines with age, but never stops. This is where all these things works if you want to grow taller after puberty. Your body produces HGH after 18. You can influence posture, muscle, spine, health, and bones. And some real-life examples like Rustam and Dr. John Wood, who grew one inch in his 30s. If you're around 20, 21 and unsure whether your growth plates are open, get an X-ray scan. A doctor can help guide you safely. Do not take HGH injections or shady pills without medical supervision. It can close growth plates prematurely, cause hormonal imbalances, lead to side effects like joint pain, bloating, and worse. Now let's understand the two real keys. Mechanical chemical stress. Mechanical stress, which I have discussed before in exercise and mechanical stress part. Now, chemical stress. This doesn't mean chemical you studied in chemistry here. We are talking about chemicals and amino acids that our body produces from sleep, nutrition, and hormone signals. Let's discuss and go in deep, like which are important and how much we should consume. 1. Protein. More than your body weight. Suppose you are 70, so you have to eat 70 grams or more protein daily because our bones and muscles are made up of protein. 2. Collagen. Eat bone broth, gelatin, fish, or take supplements because collagen is helpful for cartilage, which help to grow our growth. 3. Calcium consume 1,000 to 1,300 milligrams per day. 4. Vitamin D consume 600 to 800 IU per day from sources like sunlight, salmon, and eggs. 5. Magnesium 300 to 400 milligrams per day from nuts, spinach, etc. 6. Zinc 8 to 11 milligrams per day. 7. Vitamin C 75 to 90 milligrams per day from berries and citric fruits. And last, sleep, 8 to 10 hours consistently, natural supplements that may help take them in limit, and preferred doctor's consultation before use, ashwagandha, moringa powder, flax seeds, chia seeds, asparagus, chlorophytum, borovilianum, etc., or L-arginine, glutamine, melatonin, under doctor prescription. Don't overdo anything. More HGH doesn't mean more growth. Sometimes, it is too much risky, as it can cause growth plate closure, or this. Here's what no one tells you. If you don't believe in your potential, you won't do the work. Your mind drives your habits. Believe that you can optimize your growth, and your body starts responding. You're not just growing taller. You're growing stronger, healthier, and more confident. That's the real transformation. If you found this valuable, smash that like button. Share this video with someone who needs it, and subscribe to VMaxter 